tape is so good. No, I, I got me one of those at home, and I have a little dictaphone with the little tapes. Awesome. Makes me very happy. What's on your mind? So, check it out. Um, name and what do you do? Okay, my name is Mike Stasny, and I, I, I be Mike Stasny, basically. That's what I do professionally. That's awesome. So it's a series of odd jobs, basically, that just kind of like suit my personality. Another one? Can I apply for that job? Uh, you can. It's a hard one. Because uh, you don't get no respect, but everybody knows you. Have you had a chance to walk around and look at all the artwork? I did. I, I did be before the scenes, behind the scenes, before the show. <laughs> yeah, that's how I meant to say it. Here you go, my dear. Did you get a chance to see SpongeBob? I. He must be here now because he wasn't here when I was looking around earlier. <laughs> There's an artwork and it's and SpongeBob is in it. Oh, holy shit! That can't be SpongeBob that I'm looking at right now. It, it looked like an interpretation of SpongeBob, and now that it's confirmed, I'm most joyous. <laughs> all right, all right. Give us one, give one work of art that really. Every little you. bit helps. Yeah. <laughs> three bags. More. Yeah, three's fine. You're Thank good. You. Thank you. Come see us again. Okay. We'll be around all night. Give us one piece of art that really struck you. Wow. Okay. My favorite was probably the faceless number over here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty bad with looking at any kind of titles. I just kind of do a, like a quick once through. I'm lazy like that. Uh, but then again, I, I'm, I'm on the job. I'm being Mike Stasny tonight. So, something to drink, my dear. You got it. What, what do you want? Like, what do we what got do going on here? What is this piece? This is the work of Derek Adams. He is a New York based artist. He ran for many years Rush Arts Gallery, which during those years, I would have to say, I would just saying this to Lily, he kind of put his own practice on hold. And he became really a gateway gallery for a lot of artists who then went on to have big shows at the Studio Museum in Harlem. And in recent years, he stepped down from the gallery and honed his own practice. And this is one of many works he's recently made. And he's rocking it. He did, he's been kind of doing performative works. He did a big performance at the kitchen a few years ago. But this is the first that William and I have seen uh, these two dimensional works. And this is one of my favorite pieces of the show. Honestly, like I want to own that. Yo, can you describe Good, this for right? Okay, uh, what we're looking at is the profile of a man. Um, and his profile has been bisected into these sort of radiating prism like shapes. We've got rhombuses, we've got triangles, everything's out of this different gray material, all sort of coming from where his ear would be. Um, so he's kind of the bionic man. What would his powers be? Oh, his powers. Well, he's bionic, so he probably has super strength because he's made out of many types of incredibly strong metals. And I would say probably lasers from his eyes are another thing. So he's like Cyclops meets Cyborg meets Terminator. Yes. Ghost noises. Ghost noises. Did you guys hear that? That was so scary. Unbelievable. You don't get this with digital, only with analog. Okay. Okay. You're not. You're not. What's your favorite piece? The, the Lisa Sandin's piece, the uh, deflated uh, SpongeBob. When you first saw that, did you get it, or did you have to read about it? Uh, when I first saw it, I saw the title right next to it, so I was kind of immediately clued into what it was. But I don't know. I also got it. I got it. I don't know. It makes you like it. I just, I don't know, I think, the, I think it's successful, like, a nice combination, like, uh, color palette, concept, execution, it's just, it's a nice painting. I've been really into, uh, works on canvas, like, oil banning, tradition banning, things borderline on abstract, uh, it's been the cup of tea for me lately. Let me ask you another question, are you in the Spongebob generation? I don't think I am. My second favorite piece is by the same artist. I, oh, that's Squidward! Squidward. It's a pumpkin. Yeah, I know, but Squidward's based on it. Who's Squidward? I, I had, I have, there's a little, there's a little child that brought me into Spongebob when I was like 20 something, and Squidward was a character in Spongebob. It may not be, but it looks like him. I think it's a really nice painting. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the backstory. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man.